Good evening. Homeless people living under a section of Interstate 110 in Pensacola will get to stay there for at least the next 90 days. Channel 3's Renee Beninati is live in our newsroom with the city's efforts to help the people living in this makeshift camp. Renee. April, many people at this encampment had already packed up and left thinking they were going to get kicked out. Late last night, the city said they were going to temporarily, late last month, excuse me, the city said they were going to temporarily close the Hollis T. Williams Park to clean it up. Last night, the city decided to hold off for now. Friday night, dozens of homeless people took shelter in tents at the Hollis T. Williams Park. Just days before, they didn't know if they were going to be evicted by the city. Advocate for the homeless, Walter Arrington, says he's felt this fear firsthand. He was living on the streets for four years. I had just lost hope in life, and so, um, you know, some of these campsites in Pensacola, I slept in those campsites. The Pensacola City Council voted Thursday night to pass a moratorium on evictions for the homeless in city limits. Now, we are absolutely committed to finding a way uh, to helping these individuals um, get to somewhere where they can get shelter. It's not being outside. The past several weeks, the city has been working to improve conditions at the encampment, adding porta potties and hand washing stations. They're also working with organizations like Opening Doors to find the homeless support and shelter. And so now with this encampment here, with the, the, the city supporting it, with hygiene stations, you know, porta potties, dumpsters, um, you know, uh, this provides some safety that these people can breathe. It's unclear what will happen when those 90 days run out. Robinson says the community needs to have an open mind when it comes to a solution. These are public properties that should not be, be monopolized by any one group or individuals. They are for all of us, and I think that's one of the things that we have to, to work with. Under this resolution, people can stay at this park as long as they don't engage in criminal activity or pose a threat to any of the other people staying there. Live in the newsroom, Renee Beninati, Channel 3 News.